Look at those two guys, Nick Bosa, George Kittle. If the 49ers are good. Oh, we he's see you, to George. <laughs> we, we see you. you. Kittle, George, I see you, buddy. I see you right there. There you go. I see you. Welcome, everyone, to a new episode of Time to Football. I'm your host, Hassan Khan, and in this video, we're going to be talking about Tom Brady and what the future holds for TB12. Did you guys see the Jets? The play that Sam Darnold had. I mean, just look at this athleticism. Gets out of the sack and then, oof. NFL move, YMCA finish. Before we talk about Tom Brady, we have to tell you about Overlay DFS. This is daily fantasy football where every matchup is in a start or sit format. You pretty much just guess which player is going to have more fantasy points for that week. This week's matchups in one of the lobbies includes Matthew Stafford versus Kirk Cousins, David Montgomery versus Jordan Howard, Hunter Henry versus Darren Waller, and so many more matchups. If you're perfect in your predictions, a perfect 12-0, you win a grand prize of over $28,000. That's something you want to take advantage of. And if you're not perfect, you just got to finish at the top 10% to win nine times your money. To sign up and start playing, download the app for iOS or click on the link in the description. Go to www.overlaydfs.com. Hungriest player of the week, the one that wanted it the most. Saints quarterback Drew Brees has been sidelined for the past few weeks due to a thumb injury. He was told to rest up for the next couple weeks and come back as the starter after the bye week, but the competitive nature in him wouldn't allow that. He said that his thumb is fully healthy and he wanted to put it to good use. I mean, what else was he gonna do? Was he gonna finger pop? We're not finger popping each other's ass hoes. No, he was gonna throw for 373 yards, three touchdowns, and lead the Saints to a 31 to nine victory over the Arizona Cardinals. And that is why he is the hungriest player of the week. Also on the show, we mentioned a couple weeks ago that the NFL's Instagram account, The Checkdown, does the hungriest player of the week. <sighs> Time to Football has been doing this award since 2013. You guys have more recognition with the award because you have more money and you have a sponsor. But the Time to Football faithful, if you see the check down, post a hungriest player of the week award on Instagram every single Wednesday, comment below and just tag Time to Football. This is gimmick infringement. They're trying to take down the little man and we won't have it. So now let's talk about the news in regards to Tom Brady. If you haven't heard, Adam Schefter of ESPN reported that Tom Brady, after the season, has three options. Retirement, returning to the Patriots, or playing with another team. And of those three options, the least likely to happen is returning to the Patriots. Obviously, this caused a firestorm with the media, and everybody's talking about where Tom Brady is going to play next in 2020. Guys, I'm here to tell you, He's not going to play for another team. Let's break down each option one by one. Option one, he retires. He goes on with his life. He enjoys the rest of his days with his family. Life is great. That's why he would retire. Why he wouldn't retire, he hasn't lost a passion for the game yet. Option number two, he plays for another team. This is just strange to think about. I mean, which team is he going to play for? The Bears, the Titans, the Bengals? Nah, no one wants to play for the Bengals. But it's just weird to think that he'll play for another team besides the Patriots. Here's how the media is reacting to all of this. They hear Schefter's report. They start overanalyzing everything. I love Stephen A. Smith, but he is overanalyzing everything. He's saying that Brady doesn't want to play in New England because it's an ego thing, a pride thing, that he wants to prove that he can win a championship without Bill Belichick. Bruh, this isn't the NBA. NFL players don't care about that stuff. As a matter of fact, 42-year-olds don't care about that stuff because the older you get, the less you care what other people think of you. You're comparing Tom Brady to someone like Kevin Durant, for example, who led the Golden State Warriors supposedly to the Brooklyn Nets because he wanted to prove that he can win a championship on his own. When, as a matter of fact, he was on first take recently and he said, that's not true at all. The media is the one that said that. I would bet that 95% of professional athletes want to go to the team that gives them the best chance at winning a championship, and that is the New England Patriots. But then there's option number three. You stay with the Patriots, the team that you led to the Super Bowl nine times, won six times, and out of the 20 years that you've been playing, have one of the greater chances of winning the Super Bowl again 
this season. Your kids go to school in the area, there's no rhyme or reason to leave, so if you're truly unsure about your future and you've lost the passion for the game, you're gonna retire, but if you still have a passion for the game, still love playing in games, still love going to practice, still love being a mentor to people like Julian Edelman or Chris Hogan, who we interviewed before the Super Bowl this past February, and he said that Tom Brady is the biggest mentor to him in his football career, then you, Tom Brady, going back to the Patriots, is the best option for you. But I wanna hear from you guys. Comment below with your thoughts. Do you believe that Tom Brady is gonna retire, he's gonna play for another team, or is he gonna to return to the Patriots in 2020? Leave a comment down below and join in on the discussion. Also, be sure to subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date when we come out with a new episode every single week. Also, be sure to hit me up on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. The username for all three is at time to football. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you next week.